And thank you, David Solomon, for uh, those 4,000 years through Jewish history. That was, for me personally, actually an intellectual piece of work compared to the opening concert last Tuesday, a Thursday that opened the Kulturtage. Maybe some of you attended it. That was a very overwhelming musical evening and event, and I felt quite similar tonight. And I'm actually really moved and touched because that's actually, that's exactly the intention of the collaboration of our institute and the Jüdische Kulturtage and our studying of Jewish culture, history, politics, that um, this knowledge has actually been lost over the years in Germany with the expulsion and killing of the Jews, and that did not happen through aliens or foreign people, but people who belonged to this society, to the elite of our society at the time. And that now Jewish life returns to the city of Berlin, to Germany, that the Jewish community in Berlin is, in Germany, is the fastest growing Jewish community outside Israel in the world. That seems to be a historical miracle, actually, a gift. And that really calls upon us to improve or to strengthen our knowledge, to, to bring it up to date, our knowledge on Judaism, to deepen it, because only on the basis of this knowledge we can enter into a real dialogue, and that can be observed in uh, this um, very derailed debate around circumcision. religious and cultural traditions is not something we have to share. We don't even have to approve of them. But at least we have to know their context and their significance before we start to judge in a harsh way and start to get aware that it's actually not acceptable to question such an old tradition and to criminalize it in a superficial way without entering into an intense dialogue with those involved in this tradition. And that's not only um, the Jewish, it's also the Islamic community in Germany. And that reminds us that a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multi cultural society needs a very intense dialogue among each other, with each other, that will avoid cultural relativism and will not legitimate everything through religious tradition and allow religious judgments and um, just putting our criterion and judgment in the center, which would be wrong. And while listening to the lecture that Ali mentioned in his recent book, Envy, and the, the en envying the success and the brilliant minds of Jews in Germany as the motivation for the um, anti-Semitism that happened. And this envy was followed after the Shoah, the sense of guilt and that sense of guilt is also a basis for our willingness to um, give very harsh judgments on the situation of Israel um, as in a part state of apartheid, a racist state because it makes us feel better about it. And I would actually like us to enter a phase, a stage of real positive curiosity and interest and also the willingness for a serious dialogue. 
And I think what we need to understand a little bit better is where this driving force comes from over to be acting over 4,000 years and 2,000 years in diaspora and being dispersed all over the world and all these horrors to really keep this glue, to stay together, to preserve this spiritual to, spiritual community that um, renews itself constantly. And I personally, I find it very intriguing and fascinating in terms of this history and if this evening managed to contribute to understand a little bit better and deeper, then it was worthwhile for all of us. Thank you very much.